Hello and welcome back. Um, we're basically going to show you how to set up Active Directory objects or create them. And we're going to have a look at doing group policy objects on them. OK. All right. Do apologize. We're running a little bit slow on this computer today. OK. Because there's an operating system booting up in the background. OK. Administrative tasks. There we go. Click on Active Directory Users and Computers. Should take a very, 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 very short time, but over here it's taking a little bit longer. Okay. Alright. We have two of them open up. That's fine. Okay. Basically, when you've set up Active Directory, you would have your domain name over here. Obviously, you won't have all this Africa, Asia. You'd have built-in computers. You'd have domain controllers. You would have Europe. You'd have foreign security principles, lost and found, managed service accounts. North America wouldn't be there. You'd have program data. You wouldn't have South America. You'd have system. You'd have users, NTDS quotas, TPM devices. Yes. Okay. All right. These are the users that are built in with the system and created by the system. These are built in groups as well. Okay, there's groups on the other side as well. Okay, how do we create an OU, an organizational unit, which is like a little folder within which you can store other organizational units, you can store like computers, users, all these things. Okay, so let's just click over here and let's set up a new one a new organizational unit where is new okay there we go click this box it just makes sure you don't delete it as easy okay where you could just click a thing and press the delete button and it's gone okay over here it's a few more steps okay let's call this test okay there we go and bingo we have an organizational unit Create another organizational unit within. Okay. Okay. This shall be. Okay. Baby test. Just to show hierarchy. Okay. So that's parent test. That's baby test. Okay. All right. And within baby test, we can create a new computer user. Users are quite helpful. Okay. Let's give a name. Test. Test one. Okay, you'd fill all these details in, then you'd give the user's logon name. Go ahead, you'd give a password. Type it in again, obviously. You'd want to click this, so basically your password will not be the same thing used by the user. They'll get a chance to change it, obviously. Then account is disabled. If you want to kind of like lock them out, shut them down temporarily or permanently, you can do that. User cannot change password. If you want to do that, you can do that as well. Click, click finish. And hey, we have a user within. Okay, let's create a new computer. Okay, computer name, test computer. Okay, that's fine. All right, we have a computer. Okay, we could go ahead and do a printer or a shared folder. They all like a group. groups are quite useful. Okay, group name, test group. Okay, global security based on the service stand. I mean the security level. You want it? Do you want to have a universal so it's all over global? Okay, or domain which is just for this domain. Okay, local security or distribution as well. Okay, uh, where were we? We're global. Okay, click. Happy. All right. Now, if I wanted to set some permissions, group policy objects, GPOs on, shall we say, where is that test? Where did test go? Ding, 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 ding. It has been created. It's disappeared somewhere. Okay, there we go. Ah, we had, we had switched to the screen behind. That's a good thing, a good lesson. Okay, fair enough. All right, okay, test, we've got the baby test back on. All right, what did I want to do? Let's shut that down. Let's go to administrative tools. Sorry for the delay in the middle. Okay, we are group policy management. 
how do you add a quick thing onto it? Okay, we have test. You could add it to all of them, or you could add it to baby test. Okay, all right. Don't forget there is hierarchy going down. So if you did add it over there and you did allow inheritance members of the baby test organizational unit, for example, the username, the group we created, will get the same properties. Okay, over here, create a GPO in this domain and link it here. Okay, baby test GPO. All right, there we go. Happy. Click on edit if you wanted to add a property. Something very, very simple. Okay, user configurations, policies. Okay, let's make this a little bit bigger. Okay, let's go to Windows setting. I actually go to administrative templates. Let's go to desktop. And let's, for example, say you didn't want that user which we had as okay my apologies again. let's go here baby test okay if you didn't want the user test one for example or to have the recycle bin on his desktop when he started up his computer logged on you would just do it over here you click on that Let's start up in a minute. There we go. It is quite slow operating in the background, as I said. You'd click Enabled for that. Click OK. And the next time that user logs into this domain, they would find that they do not have the recycle bin on their desktop. That thing. That would not be there anymore. Okay. Alright, thank you for watching and wish you a good day.